Hi everyone, this is Teo from Prakablogs.com. Today I'm going to review the Rosemary Pocket watercolor brushes. These are the four Rosemary brushes that I have. I bought them a few years ago. Rosemary is a company based in England. They have been making brushes for more than 30 years. They make a lot of different types of brushes. These are the reversible or collapsible pocket watercolor brushes. So this is how they look like. You can pull them out from the body like this and attach them back. And you have a short handle watercolor brush. So this is very lightweight, convenient and portable. The sizes of these four brushes, they are roughly the same except the brush hair. They are of different sizes. This is the Da Vinci Maestro pocket brush. This is a bit shorter. This body here is made of some hard plastic like material. The diameter is slightly larger for the Da Vinci brush and as you can see there are breather holes beneath the body to help dry the brush. Both these brushes are size 6. Let me show you a size 10. This is the size 10 Da Vinci brush. It's significantly larger and this is the size 10 rosemary brush you can see the body size difference is quite significant even for the WG size 6 versus size 10 the difference in the body size is very significant while the rosemary pocket brushes they are roughly the same size and this is an Escoda brush so this is slightly longer compared to the Da Vinci and longer than the Rosemary. And this also features a collapsible body. So this is much bigger compared to the Rosemary brush. Three of these brushes here are made of Kolinsky sable hair. One of them is a red sable. I've already mixed them up so I can no longer tell which one is which but the performance of Red Sable and Kolinsky Sable they are quite similar Red Sable is a bit cheaper one of the most common questions that I get about watercolor brushes is is the brush damage when the hair is frayed out like this if it doesn't taper to a point when it's dry well as long as it tapers to a point when it's wet it's fine so let me try and wet this brush to show you as long as it can taper back to a point when it's wet your brush is fine so this tapers back to a point let me try another one so this is all freed out this is a bit difficult to get to a point Perhaps it's damaged, I'm not too sure. But a proper brush should go back to a point. Let me try this brush. This brush is quite alright. So this brush is also able to taper back to a point. And the size 6 is the brush that I use most often. So this is very worn out. It can still taper to a point but the point is no longer sharp because the hair is quite worn out. So of all the four brushes, this is the brush that has problem going back to the point. Let me show you the other three. As mentioned earlier, Rosemary makes a lot of brushes. Let me show you the other pocket brushes. So the one that I have are the R1, R2, R3 and R11. The name is not really that descriptive but these are raw brushes. This is a flat brush, this is a Riga brush, this is a Filbert, a rake brush. I think these two are mock brush. One is a squirrel and one is a sable and this if I am not wrong is probably a synthetic brush. So they have a lot of different types of brushes even for pocket brushes like this. I like to keep my watercolor brushes in watercolor boxes. So let me show you 
if this can fit into the more common boxes that you can find so this is a Winston Newton Cotman box there is this uh, place here where you can keep the brush but it's very tight and when you close the box this part here it bulges a bit so this is very tight but you can uh, keep it there the more common box would be this 12 half pen metal box this has no problem fitting this uh, brush if you happen to be using the white knights 12 pen box this box is a bit too short to fit this brush and this is the latest palette that I have this is the portable painter and this can fit the rosemary brush very well so this is a perfect fit alright let's see how good the brushes are this is size 6 Sable brushes can hold a lot of water so you don't have to reload them constantly this particular brush that I'm using is worn out so I'm not able to get a sharp point anymore but it's still a fantastic brush for painting so I can get almost five strokes before it starts to run dry and this is for size 6 let me show you a brush that is still quite new this is probably size 10 it still has its sharp point so if you want the sharp points, the thin lines you have to be a bit more careful the brush is quite flexible and would always go back to its point you have to turn the brush around to get that sharp point and this particular brush can cover a large area so this is fantastic for um, large washes the other option is to go for the squirrel brush and now let's test this brush where the hair is no longer able to keep a point even though it's no longer able to keep a point it is still a fantastic brush for creating large washes like this this is still usable I can still get thin strokes you may have to shape the tip a bit but otherwise I think this is still very usable I like to use my brushes until they are worn out the two that I use most often are these two in the middle so you can see they are no longer able to hold a point however for these two brushes the larger brushes I seldom use them they are still able to keep their point quite well if you maintain your brushes regularly they should be able to last a few years I use this quite frequently so that's why the hair is worn out these are sable brushes so the quality is very good they are more expensive compared to synthetic brushes so you do want to take good care of them so that they can last longer the quality of rosemary brushes is comparable to da vinci and escoda so when it comes to choosing collapsible or pocket brushes i think it comes down to the form factor rosemary is somewhere in between in terms of size, Escoda is a bit larger, Da Vinci is a bit shorter for the smaller sizes. So that's all for my review today. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comment section. I will also post a link to my text review in case there are any updates. And if you want to check out my other art product reviews, I will put the playlist at the end of this video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.